Right, gentlemen, so we recently had a new sticker capsule come out with some very, very, very nice stickers in it of all these lenticulars, the interesting foils, the very, very nice hollows, a couple glitters that were quite nice as well. This sticker capsule, very, very nice, but it wasn't immediately marketable, was it? So I'm on CSGO Stash, which will provide you a link if you click this right here. There we are. Now, uh, always remember to double check because we've had that mistake before, haven't we? When we had the uh, the Antwerp sticker capsules, one of them was named incorrectly. So just make 100% sure this is the right name. So yeah, I've already got that link nice and ready over here. But a lot of people are probably thinking, hmm, hmm, what price should I offer? Because for everybody right now, this sticker capsule is selling for the equivalent of one dollar in their in CS:GO right now. So whatever currency you might have should be reasonably equal to around a dollar. But as you know, on the Steam market, prices can be a fair bit different. So right now, I've got the boardroom sticker capsule. This was the previous independent sticker capsule that came out before the CS:GO 10 capsule. So right now, this is selling to the equivalent of one dollar on the Steam market. 85 pennies and if I turn it to USD yeah so that was my currency and now it's a dollar but here's the funny thing in game the capsules are selling for 79 pennies my currency so it's a bit weird and this is something you're gonna have to probably prepare for as well let's also check euro so at the moment yep there's something equal to around a euro guys as you are aware, throughout this year, um, our currencies have kind of gotten a bit weaker in comparison to the dollar on Steam. They've been fluctuating, they've been changing, and I've definitely noticed it. I've definitely noticed it throughout the Antwerp um, release. So here's a thing that could potentially go wrong. When things clear up in this world, for all you Europeans, you, you Canadians, anybody that doesn't actually use dollar... Um, your currencies might get stronger than the dollar and suddenly your buy order probably becomes a bit too strong. So what do I mean? Um, so quite early on in the life of this boardroom sticker capsule, I actually put down to the equivalent of a 65 penny buy order on this sticker capsule. Now, way back when, that 65 penny buy order was probably equal to around, let's say... 80 to 85 pennies or cents USD but now as we can see here we've got a 65 penny buy order here at 10 quantity we shall turn it to USD now it's it didn't change now it's around here at a uh, 77 cents it got weaker it got weaker because my currency got weaker compared to the dollar on on the steam market and if I really want to get a good, a good position, I might have to offer more. So here's the dilemma. If if I put down a reasonably strong buy order, uh, aka I, for this particular instance, for a new sticker capsule, such as this one, I would offer around 80 cents. That's what I would offer. But I have to be very cautious with it because one day the currencies might improve and my currency might be a bit too strong and suddenly my 77 cent buy order, if I did 65 pennies, would suddenly turn into maybe 88 cents or something like that and I might become the strongest buy order and then of course people might dump on me and it also might not be profitable. Uh, yeah, things like that have happened before but at the moment I'm seeing the opposite happening, where I bought a bunch of these capsules at a set price, but that, because my currency then got weaker, I could sell capsules for a whole lot more. And that happened with the poorly drawn capsule. So if you don't know the history of this particular capsule, uh, it wasn't very in demand. There wasn't very good stickers in it. <laughs> and for this, I did a 62 penny currency buy order in my currency. And if you see the beginning of its life, whoa, it crashed hard. People didn't like it. People immediately dumped. It became a very, 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 very unliked, undesirable sticker capsule very quickly. Over time, it got a bit better. It got a bit better. But what happened recently was my currency, of course, got weaker compared to the dollar. And I could actually sell them and get my money back. In fact, I actually made a profit of every single capsule. I bought 600 of them. I made about six pennies profit per capsule. That's not great, but 600 times... But <clears throat> six times 600 decent returns but um 
yeah, I treat capsules more like a uh, a bond than a money maker. Yes, I am making money. I'm just not making tons of money. But it's a perfectly good buy order to have because you could buy it, wait seven days, and trade it over to another account that could probably need some more money. AKA, you buy it on here for a cheaper price and sell it to the right price on sell it for the right price on a different account. That's a good way to keep your other accounts afloat. So I like things like this. And in this particular instance before, when I did my 65 penny buy order, I actually went ahead and actually successfully bought them all. So that was around an 80, 85 cent buy order. That was successful. I sold them all. I made a profit. I walked away happy. So here is where you need to start making a consideration for what you're going to want to do. So a lot of people do attack this with low prices and that's a problem because if you offer too low your range of being successful for actually being able to buy one isn't that much because not that many people actually just sell them for a ridiculously low price you do get a lot of automated bots and trade bots screwing up and then chucking whatever they can at you by mistake that does happen quite a lot but it doesn't happen that much and yeah, like I would buy, I'd probably buy a, a few capsules every now and then. It does add up. It does. Oh, it does add up. But eventually, yeah, it eventually all comes to you and then you will buy them and then you can sell them at a later time. You get the idea. But when you see the build up of all of this, look, look at the gaps. It, it most, look, look, look at the guy here that did 5,000 at 11 cents. What are you doing? And then 3,000 at 17 cents. Never going to happen. They've wasted their buy order amount. And, uh, you know, if you know your buy order amounts, you can understand how, yeah. Now, I'm just led to believe this is probably just some bot network. So, not very smart. They should have offered stronger pricing. So, right here, this guy, he offered 63 cents. That's not that high, but it's it's better. 63 cents is a lot better. So, you're talking about like 50, 50, when this first came out, this would have been like 50 cent euro and whatnot. So, I can understand that. This is better, but it's still not that high enough. If you really actually want to have a good chance of buying these capsules, you at the very least want to do 70 cents. If you want to be a bit more aggressive, offer a bit more. You will be more successful. But if your currency isn't American, then you are going to potentially have problems if the currencies get stronger at a later date. But again, in this particular instance, at this time, right now, an 80 cent buy order is probably going to work out very nicely for you. And that's what I'm going to do. Sorry if that was a bit of a talk, but, you know, you can see how this is. This has never worked. He hasn't bought a single one. He hasn't bought a single one. He hasn't bought a single one. He has not bought a single one. It's all straight, complete numbers. It's not like 2,972. No, it's a straight 3,000. He has never been successful because he offered far too low of a price. So now you get a good idea. Now you've got a good understanding. There's a lot of people that just want to sell these very quickly to get some quick money. So they're probably going to go for the highest buy order. In this particular instance, an 85 cent buy order. But you know what? That guy that bought them right there, he could then sell his and he will get a profit. So yeah, guys, if you're looking at this next new sticker capsule to potentially be a great money maker, no, 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 that's not happening. It's not happening. You're not, you're not going to magically make a ton of money. It's going to be pennies here and there. So you have to request a lot of them. At the very least, you want to request at least about 500. And as I said, you can grab them and move them elsewhere, move them around. You can just use them. Uh, you can save them up and sell them at a later date when you really feel like you need to make some money, when you really need some quick money. You know, I, I've done that. I've, I've had some skins and whatnot before that I've put in storage and I wanted to hold on to them for a later date because I feel like, well, you know what, there's going to be a time where I really need some money and that's probably the best time to uh, cash out with them. And yeah, that's that. So now we've got to figure out when is this actually coming out. So this released when? Uh, it was Tuesday night, Wednesday morning for me last week. So the 16th to the 17th. Um, remember how this works? And I've got a video kind of explaining this for my, um, if you recall, uh, this video right here. CSGO, seven day cooldown items and marketable time. So here, this kind of breaks it down for you and explains how all the times on Steam are related to the Pacific time zone where Valve is located, Valve headquarters. So... Everything works from there. So if this sticker capsule came out on a Tuesday during the Pacific time, then it's going to round up to the Wednesday. And then next week, the sticker capsule will come out the, on the dot at 
zero 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 midnight Wednesday night in the Pacific time zone, which will be in less than nine hours time. So if I were to just quickly go over here and click Google, because you can always do this, PT time right now. And Google will show you it is 1.26 in the evening or <clears throat> in the afternoon. So we've got quite a lot of time to wait. To be more specific, I'm waiting for another, is it 10 and a half hours? 30, yeah, I've got 10 and a half hours to go. But, you know, I'll sleep, don't worry. <laughs> I'm not crazy. So yeah, um, how that works is it came out on a Tuesday. So it came out on a Tuesday and it rounds it up to the next midnight. And from that midnight is when the seven day cooldown properly starts. And when that seven day cooldown is over, then they become marketable. So rounds up to the next midnight, which was a Wednesday midnight. So that means next week, when it's Wednesday midnight in the Pacific time zone, that is when they become marketable. And that is when we can do our buy orders in them. So, uh, yeah. Do you have a nice sense of clarity now? And this applies to every other seven day cooldown thing in the future. But this is a sticker capsule um, talk now, isn't it? So I hope I've kind of got it in your head that uh, if you're going to be more successful, you've got to offer more money. Of course, that's very simple, isn't it? But you've got to be cautious because if you're not American, yeah, your currency randomly might become a whole lot stronger. People will dump on you and then suddenly you don't have a profitable thing on your, on right in front of you. But um, you do have to request a lot to be able to earn a lot. But don't look at this thinking it's going to be an amazing money maker. So, yeah, you can easily see the mistakes that other people have made before. We've gone we've already gone over them. Other than that. Not that many people really go for them. Like, a few. You can see it. The The real strong big buy orders, there's not many of them. So it's going to be very nice to watch all of this play out on the day. or Well, in the morning. For me, it's going to be appearing at 8 o'clock in the morning because I'm 8 hours ahead of the Pacific time zone. So, um, yeah. Guys, um, sorry if that was quite a long talk. But, uh, yeah, there, there's quite a lot to be said. There's a quite a lot... To explain so I went over uh, getting the URL uh, pricing uh, don't make a mistake don't offer too low and whatnot and uh, I also just quickly pointed out when is the thing going to appear for you so I'm from the UK and it's coming out at 8 o'clock in the morning for me where are you in the world right now because if it's coming out at 8 o'clock in the morning for me you need to probably figure out where you are in reference to PT time and remember you can just type PT time right now. And of course, you want to find out how, how much longer it is until midnight, Wednesday midnight, or Wednesday morning midnight, you get the idea. Um, and uh, reference your time to that, and then you'll know when they're going to become marketable. And then you go over here, and you keep refreshing like a crazy person, and then it appears, and then we do our buy orders. And then you're happy. Yay! <sighs> Point made? I hope so. So now we wait. Now we wait. 